Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video, let's check out some of the highlights that were released in July of 2021. In this first video, I will be covering a list of free assets, and in the next ones, I will be covering paid assets and tools. Check out the full playlist to see all of the highlights every month. You might find something that would be just perfect for whatever project you're currently working on. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. And by the way, right now there's a mega bundle happening, it's a massive discount at 95% off. It's pretty nice in terms of variety, lots of systems, props, particles and sounds. These bundles are always great value, if just one of these assets interests you, then the whole bundle is worth it. Check the link in the description to see it. And by the way, check out my own assets on the store. So far I've made the free key door system, which is a super simple way to add keys and doors to your games, and the mouse cursor system pro, which is a very easy to use tool to help you create custom animated cursors to really make your game stand out. I'm currently working on converting more videos into pro systems, so stay tuned for that. Alright, so starting off with a really nice low poly FPS pack. This one is pretty great, it's got tons of variety for a free pack. You've got a total of 10 weapons, shotguns, pistols, SMGs, sniper rifles and more, as well as a bunch of throwables like a flashbang and a frag grenade. Every gun also has a bunch of animations for shooting, reloading, idle, draw and so on. I have to say this free pack is really very impressive, so if you have any idea that requires some low poly weapons then go ahead and get this one. Then for a cool effect, here is a cube map blur. It's pretty simple, it does exactly what it says. So you can use this for example to blur your skyboxes in order to highlight whatever object is in front of the screen. Next up, if you need some UI, check out this dark theme pack. It's got quite a lot of unique elements, so some basic buttons and a whole bunch of icons. All of them really nice, really clean designs, they would look great on pretty much any game. If you need some more low poly assets, here's actually two packs in one. There's the low poly swords pack and the RPG weapons pack. There's quite a lot of variety here. On the swords pack you have a total of 15 unique swords. Some of them look pretty simple and others look quite unique. And on the other pack you've got a bunch more RPG weapon types. So axes, staffs, bows, shields and so on. With these two packs and some low poly characters you can already build tons of unique medieval or fantasy games. Then for an interesting tool, here is Desktop Streamer. It does exactly what it says, it streams your whole desktop to another machine. So it's definitely a very niche thing, but if you want to work on your project while using another machine, then it might be very useful. Next, if you're working on a racing game, here is a stylized car. A really nice and simple design, comes with a bunch of color variations, so very simple and perfect for your next racing prototype. Maybe you need some buttons to make your game playable with touch, then check out this virtual buttons asset. Features some simple buttons, some d-pads and joysticks. I recently covered the new input system which has support for very easily adding some on-screen touch controls, so you could combine that with these visuals and easily make your game playable with touch. For some sound effects, here is the Fantasy Stinger SFX pack. Features 40 interesting sounds. Some of them are very mysterious, others very gentle, others very scary. So put a bunch of these when some events happen in your fantasy game and really make it stand out. Next up, a potentially very interesting tool. It's the Serialize Interfaces package. You can serialize interfaces and drag their references in the editor. So you can define the exact interface type instead of making it just a game object reference and trying to get that interface. Then using the finder it will only allow you to drag things that actually implement that interface. So interfaces are always a great tool, so maybe get this one and see if it helps you write better, cleaner code. And finally here is a really cool stylized pirate ship. Maybe you've got a pirate game idea you've been thinking about, if so this is a great starting point. It's a stylized asset, but it's also pretty detailed. So you could use this to make a top down game, something like Sid Meier's Pirates, or maybe something in first or third person, something like Sea of Thieves. Really good looking asset and very versatile. Alright, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity Asset Store for July 2021. There's links to all in the description. Stay tuned for the next video covering paid assets and tools, there's lots of awesome stuff there. Check out the phone playlist to see some more lists with free and paid assets and let me know if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. Also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you